we were having a look at uh, the, this particular Nesbot camera, and then this happened. Look. Yep, it's a little bird <laughs> being pushed out by a hedge pig. And as you can see, um, <laughs> he's in the, got the defensive frown and he's just pushing it out. And he's obviously it decided it wants to go into uh, uh, the nest box because it was probably nice and cosy in there. <laughs> and he's just decided that he's going to evict it. And uh, there he goes, he thinks, yep, I've got rid of it. Looks like he's going to go back inside. Um, as you can see, that poor little hedgehog has got a big tick just under his ear. Fortunately, it only seems to be one. Uh, that one, that's, that's quite normal for um, hedgehogs, unfortunately. And that'll probably drop off in a day or two because it looks quite engorged. But uh, <laughs> the little um, little bird's just staying there. As you can see, it's actually um, a little fledgling. You can see its tail feathers aren't quite uh, formed properly. Um, we did look at the uh, footage just a little bit earlier and we just saw a little blue streak uh, come in. Um, so we're uh, concluding that this is actually a little fledgling um, blue tit. <laughs> obviously, it obviously went in there to, uh, um, to roost overnight, thinking that's a nice little safe place out of the way. Um, Perhaps it can't fly that well, so it couldn't get up into a tree. Um, anyway, he decides that he wanted to go back in. He was quite happy with that. Nice little <laughs> safe area. Um, probably not encountered a spiky hedgehog before. But uh, our hedgehog is not moving. Anyway, I thought he was going to go out. Looked like he was sort of giving up to look out there and sort of decides, no, nope, I want to go back in. So he's trying to sort of oh, get round this hedgehog who's snuffling away and obviously got his defensive bristles. I wonder what it thinks of those spiky bits. Anyway, it's not going to give up. So you can just see the sort of the eye stripe of the uh, of the blue tit there. Anyway, you may thought, oh, well, they're just both going to sit there, whatever. But uh, no, it's uh, thinking about what to do. The hedgehog's not going to move. He's probably thinking, well, you know. I just settle down here for the night. No, he thought that was nice and cosy inside. He's trying to sort of go underneath. And then inside, nope, I'll try going over the top. But obviously the hedgehog's blocking the hole. <laughs> He's not happy with it on the top there. So then obviously the bird decides this isn't really going to work. He's not letting me in. Off he trots. And our hedgehog obviously sensing that he's gone. He gets out of defensive mode. There's a quick snuffle. Can he see him? Can he smell him? Obviously as you can see outside it's just about dusk. It's not quite dark. Um, still relatively light out there, a bit early for uh, hedgehogs to be out, but he's having a little bit of a sniff, assessing it. Maybe that's how, you know, what he was doing was just coming out to, <laughs> to assess the uh, situation. Anyway, he's decided to go back in. Quick shake there, and he's going back in for a little bit of a snooze, and he comes out, probably I think it was about 10-15 minutes later, when it's a little bit darker. But there you go, that's uh, another an unexpected thing we've seen in one of our, our hedgehog houses.